been asked to draw a line graph showing the change in population, or European population in New Zealand from 1800 through to 1900. Um, so I'm going to take you through the really quick steps uh, just to give you an idea or a reminder on how to do it. First thing you need to do is to start with your axes. So we have an axis here and an axis across here. Now we're showing change over time. So we need to look at first of all when the times are. And the first one we have is in 1800, the last one's in 1900. So quite simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to start 1800 over here and then I'm going to go to 1900 over here. Now I know that's 100 years, so I know that in between the two, that there is 1850. And then I just need to break it down nice and evenly into four points through here. So I have 1810 through 1840 and 1850. So we'll say here, here, and here. And then again through here, same thing again. So like so. Now you would measure yours with a ruler and you might make each section maybe two centimetres is 10 years. I've had to do it like this. Uh, but you can see I'm pretty accurate there, there's a wee bit of a gap there, but I'll, of course if I'd measured it with a ruler, it would be much better. Um, that means then that that's 1910, 1920, 1930, 1940, 1950, 1960, 1980, sorry, 1880, 1890 and 1900. Okay, I need to say that they are years, so I'm going to label that course down the bottom years like so. The next thing I need to look at is what goes up the side. Now, I've got my time down the bottom, which is years, as always, and I would have labelled these as well, which you guys will no doubt have done too to make things easier for you. Up the side, though, I need to show what I actually want to graph, and in this case, it's the population, or the European population in New Zealand. So what I need to look at is what is the highest mark I've got, and the highest mark I've got is 780,000, and that occurred in 1900. So to make things easier, I'm just going to round that up to... 800,000. But you can see I can't put all the zeros in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have here on my key that this is the population and I'm going to say it's in thousands. So that means I take those zeros and I add them to that one there and straight away I have 800,000. That saves me having to write things. Same thing again, halfway between that and zero down here is going to be 400, halfway between that is going to be 200, 100, 300, 6, 5, and 7, like that. Now again, you're going to measure yours, so yours will be much more accurate than mine. You might make each line, or every two lines, equal 100,000 people. I'm going to rub that out a bit because it gets a bit messy through here, and we'll add that in later on. But we do need to make sure that you've labelled this axis too, so we know what these numbers actually represent. Final thing before we even graph is we need to have a title. And the title is going to say, what is it? It's a line graph. When was it? It was for 1800 through to 1900. And what is it showing? It's showing the European population in New Zealand. So a line graph showing European population in New Zealand between 1800 and 1900, and that would be your title. Very simply then, what we do is we go to our figures and we start plotting it in. And because it's a line graph, we just use a very small mark to start with just to show where those points are. So in 1800, looking at my stats, there are only 50 people, 50 Europeans living in New Zealand. New Zealand was very much a Maori country back uh, in 1800. So, 100,050 is just going to be on the line. I can't really do anything further than that. The next one is for 1820. So 1810, 1820 in there. And the figure there is 400. Now, again, that is pretty much not even going to register on my scale because 100,000, 400 out of 100,000 is very, very small. But things are going to change as we get closer to some big dates. The next one is 1840. So 1820. 1830, 1840 in here. 1840, the Treaty of Waitangi was signed, and we start to see things change. Now, again, it's only 5,000, but I'm just going to show that 
we start to see an increase. And you see there, the first two are pretty much on the line. That one's just above it, just showing that we're starting to increase. The next one is 1860. So 1850, 1860, and all of a sudden we're now up to 100,000 people. Now if we go there, that now registers on our graph. The next one is 1870. Now you need to look at whereabouts 1870 would be, 1880, and then 1900. Now 1900 is right up here. So there's a lot of stuff that's happening in through here which you're gonna to have to graph along the way. You guys can add in that stuff, but what you do then is you add it in with a nice curve. Okay, and there we go. A line graph, and we can see straight away that the population of New Zealand in the first part of the 1800s was very, very slow, very, very slow European growth in population. And then from about 1840, things started to change and things started to pick up. And obviously, something's going on here. The second part of your task is then to actually add in some details about what was going on in New Zealand history. And I've given you four key dates. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So the first one is. 1814, and that's when the first missionaries arrived in New Zealand. So the missionaries arrived 1814 through here. I know that 1810 is there, and 1820 is there, and 1814 is probably going to be in the middle there. So I'm going to put her up like that. And we go 1814, and I'm going to write down first missionaries in New Zealand on there. The next one is something I mentioned earlier on, and that was the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi, and that occurred in 1840, 1800. 1820, 1830, 1840 there, and I'll write down the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi. Now I can see that from the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi onwards, things have really started to increase. That tells me that the Treaty of Waitangi obviously played a major part in allowing European immigration into New Zealand. And then there's a couple of other things that really kicked off after that as well. But that's later on in the report, and I'll leave that with you guys to have a look at. Have fun.